out of New Jersey where homeowners in low-lying areas across the Garden State are fed up. Fed up by these relentless storms that put them in danger of getting flooded out. Then you have the drivers who did their very best to maneuver around those floodwaters today. We find our Jessica Formoso live in North Bergen. Tonight, Jessica, how did those people fare today? Richard, we're on West Side Avenue here, and there is still some flooding. You see behind me cars coming by very slow. The road was reopened around 8:45 this uh, tonight, but you know what? They are making it through. Like you just see this car here, but that was not the case a few hours ago. Car after car after car. Stranded in floodwaters. It's pretty bad. This was Newark Saturday afternoon. The heavy rain flooding streets. This was the scene over by Meeker Avenue. Some drivers making it through the flooded roadways. Others didn't have the same luck. And then you had this guy on the e-bike. You could see him struggling to make it to the other side. By late afternoon, the rain was gone, but the damage was done. Tell it to Michael Solano, who drove right through this flood on West Side Avenue in North Bergen. Tres y cincuenta. It was 3.50 in the afternoon. We were trying to get by. Didn't think the water was that high, but we got stuck with the other cars. I'm waiting for a tow truck. And it's not even his car. It's a rental. By 8 p.m., he was finally towed. I trusted I could make it. I regret it now. He was one of four vehicles stuck, but that didn't matter. Drivers ignoring signs that clearly said road closed. They still drove right through. This truck driver made it across only to be told by police to turn back around. It's been okay in a Jeep Wrangler. I mean, I drive through it pretty good. I mean, I just wait for them to stop and then I just plow through it because I have a car for it. But most people in the mornings driving to work, everyone literally would stop in the water and then get stuck. And I think that's the problem. Those with smaller cars see those with bigger cars driving through and they think, hey, I can get through by and they go right through and get stuck. So, you know, if you see the water, just stay away. Be cautious. Again, we're here on West Side Avenue. This road has be has now is now open to drivers and drivers are going by, as you can see. But look right now, a live look. They are driving very slowly through that flood that is now receding. So hopefully in the next few hours, it'll all be clear. For now, we are live in North Bergen. I'm Jessica Formoso, Fox 5 News. Richard, back to I'm you inside. They still have to take it slow. Crazy stuff out there. Thank you tonight.